Hey Colts fans, hey NFL fans who's just curious about what's going on. The Indianapolis Colts released fullback Roosevelt Nix just weeks before the start of the 2020 season. And that has a lot of fans out there going, why would they do that? He was a pro bowler, he's a great fullback. We haven't had a fullback on the Indianapolis Colts in so many years we've had to use Offensive linemen, defensive linemen, tight ends, things like that to be a fullback. And yet, you know, he was a pro bowler a few years back. Why in the world would the Colts release him? Well, I'm going to show you some clips from just one game, week eight of last year against the Miami Dolphins. Okay, there's a reason the Pittsburgh Steelers let him go. And it was not due to injury. You don't let go a Pro Bowl type player because he's hurt a single season. You release them because you know that his product is not as good as either it used to be or as good as you thought it was. You also got to remember, fullback is a position that is not widely used in the NFL. There aren't that many fullbacks in the NFL. And players make the Pro Bowl at each of those positions, at fullback as well. So come on. I mean, if you've got 10 fullbacks to take a choice on the matter every once in a while, one of them's going to have a good year and he might get in because he did a decent job. I'm not saying that's what happened with Roosevelt Nix, but what I am saying is that last season, even though he was hurt most of the time, and I, I'll take that, but his injury had nothing to do with what's up here. And what's up here is what the problem was. So we're going to get into why he was just playing terrible last year. Why when he was signed with the Colts, I said, it's they're taking a, 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 a shot at him to see if he's back the way he was. Obviously, he's not back to the player that he once was, the Pro Bowl type fullback. And they let him go. Just watch this. All right, so this first play against the Dolphins I'm going to show you is not a terrible, horrible play, but it shows you a little bit about what's going on. This is the first bad play. When you're a fullback or a tight end or an offensive lineman, you block with three things in mind. Either A, you take whoever you're blocking out at the feet. You know, you take him down. That way he's not up, he's not able to make a play on the play. Two, you ride him to the ground, get a pancake, obviously. You keep it. And, and three, you stay there and you ride with him. You know, you block him. You don't, you don't just make a willy-nilly effort at him, okay? This is what Nix does on this play. Nix does something that no fullback should do. None. Not when you're lead blocking on this stretch play right here. Keep an eye on Nix and what he does. There he goes. Out to the edge. What the hell was that? Someone tell me what the hell that was. Right here he is. Watch. He goes out there. Right before he blocks. He gets down and dives into him and just gives up. What? You don't do that. You don't do that. The guy he blocked helps in the tackle. Why? Because he didn't ride him. He just jumped into him. That's a bad block. That is the, right here. Now, if he continued to drive with his legs coming down like this and driving into him, that would have been perfectly fine. It would have been like, great block. Because he would have put, kept pushing him out. Instead, he leaps into him and goes down. That was a terrible, terrible block. And the guy he's blocking was in on the play. I don't like that. That's not something that should happen. He should have continued. He should have stayed up on his feet and just kept running with him, pushing into the defender. There's a better chance than then that. that the running back would have been able to follow him back. I mean, good Lord. Why would you do that? I, I don't understand. This, this ain't even 
The guy he's blocking isn't even a linebacker or a defensive lineman. He, that's a cornerback, guy. That's a cornerback. He's smaller than you. Just run into him and push him. Push him. But because he didn't, because he's had to stop right here, the running back had to cut inside. Now, if he would have pushed him and pushed him out this way, he would have been able to outrun the defender. That defensive lineman wouldn't have been able to get his hands on him because he would have continued to come around the edge. But Nix didn't do that. He dove. He fell down and dove in front. And it was just a bad block. Bad block. Come on, man. Let's, let's, let's try to figure out what the next play was. Remember, all one game. All one, and the Miami Dolphins. Last year's Miami Dolphins. Week 8. It's not like they had a whole bunch of great defensive players on this team. <sighs> now this play, this play's bad. All right, this is a counter. They're going to go to the left then cut back to the right. All right, he's going to come in right off that outside right tackle. And his job is to, to seal somebody to spring the running back for some yards, right? And he can't make a decision. If there's more than one guy there, he can't make a decision. That or his field awareness is awful. All right, let's watch the play. Keep an eye. What? 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 There was three guys there. All right, I can... Let's just say... Let's say, at this point, he does not see the linebacker coming around right here. All right? Let's say he doesn't see him because he's narrow-visioned right here on the safeties because he's, you know, if he, if he lands a block here, the running back goes and he's untouched. All he's got to do is make one guy miss and he's untouched. If he makes the block here, he seals this edge. Reason I say that, is because the defensive lineman's here too. All he's got to do is come around, hit this linebacker. Defensive lineman can't get around him either. So then Connor, all he'll have to do is make this guy right here miss. And he's gone. That's a touchdown, my guy. But no, he misses the linebacker. All right. Which that should be, that should have been his seal block right there. All right. But... Then, as the play goes, watch. He doesn't, he doesn't even block the safety. He runs right by him. There was three people on this play he could have blocked. And he ran by all three of them. And Connor goes down. Ain't that awesome. That's that's terrible. That's terrible. He should have made that block. This is up here. This is decision making. Okay. Do you want a fullback on your team that can't make a decision at this point, at this point, to see a guy and decide to put hands on him? Hmm? Do you want a fullback whose main job is to lead a block? And can't make a decision on who he wants to put a, put his hands on to block for uh, the running back. I don't know about you, but I sure as heck wouldn't want him. Not not when he's doing plays like this. But that's not even the worst of it. Let's go check out the worst one of the game. You're still here. Awesome. Thanks for watching this stream. Please, if you have a moment of your time, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you're notified next time I go live. And if you got a few extra seconds, hit that description down there below the video and check out all the places that you can follow me, whether it be Sportscaster here on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and there's a couple places where you can help donate to my channel. That way I can continue to bring all this content to you. Thank you for your support. Now, let's get back to the video.
All right, here's the worst block he had in this one single game. Remember, this is all Miami Dolphins. This is the Dolphins defense, okay? And you got him right here. This is going to be a sweep. He's going to come off the right tackle, and he's got to seal the edge again. He's got to block somebody. Let's watch what happens. Got a lead block here. Please someone tell me what just happened. What what was I just now looking at? Huh? That was... That's terrible. Here he is. Well, first off, he sees this guy coming in. And he's coming down. All he's got to do is... If he blocks him, he's good. Right? At least block him. But heck, you got a linebacker coming here. So you got two options. What's he do? He completely misses both of them. He runs right between both defenders. Look, it looks like he was blocking the invisible safety that was coming between the two defenders. Come on now. Really? This is a tackle for law. Would you want that blocking for Jonathan Taylor or Marlon Mack? For real. I mean, that kind of stuff right there will get your running back hurt because you're getting two guys three shots on him because he's thinking you're at least blocking somebody even the running back sees the guys and yet you completely whiff on both of them at the same time come on now guys i get it he was hurt but this has nothing to do with his physical injuries this is all up here decision making make see who you want to plant and put your hands on him and if he can't block Miami defenders, you want him blocking Tennessee Titans defenders, the, the Baltimore Ravens defenders, San Francisco's defenders, uh, you name it, Pittsburgh's defenders. <laughs> no, there's a reason why Pittsburgh let him go. He's not a Pro Bowl player anymore. Maybe he was at one time, but he's not anymore. This is all I got to say about that. I mean, I hope this sets your minds at ease a little bit and realize that you can move on from this. Don't expect the Indianapolis Colts. I mean, the Colts are going to pick up guys all the time in hopes, hey, you know, we haven't had a fullback in a while. Maybe he'll work out. You know, it's an idea. But even at the time, I was like, man, this guy's no good. I hope, I hope the tape lied. But apparently it didn't, and the Colts let him go. Not only on that, he had to have been very good to even make the team because fullback is kind of a an extra position. You know, it's a luxury position in the NFL. And I just don't see him being able to play the way uh, he would need to play in order to make the Indianapolis Colts. Man... If you like what you see, please don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe, share this, comment down below. If you think that what I'm saying is a bunch of baloney or BS, comment that too. I'd be more than happy to discuss that with you. But until next time, as usual, man, I'm Lawrence Owen. This is Colts Law, breaking down why the Indianapolis Colts just released Roosevelt Knicks two weeks before the beginning of the 2020 season. And as usual, have a good one. Just because a guy's a player's not a household name doesn't mean we can't make him a household name.